guys. Hello, hello, hello. How are we doing with angles today? Hopefully a little bit better than last time. I'm going to see if I can angle you a bit more though. Is that a little bit? A little bit more angling? It has not helped at all, has it? Okay, we try something else. Nice for the noise. Okay, again, I'm not sure if that's helped, but anyway, hoping you can see, I'll just have to hold things up. I think I'm gonna need to bring my, I'm still trying to use a different type of um, um, tripod from what I'm used to using at home and I don't like it. I can't get the angle that I'm used to, so I think I'll need to bring it in the other one. Anyway, hello and welcome to Jody part two. I just seen Helen join the, hi Helen, hope you're well. Um, are you staying for the whole one? I remember last week you had to go away, didn't you, early? Um, hopefully you can stay for a little bit longer today. Um, I have got on my Jodie dress, as you've just seen. Um, I should maybe wait and show people it a bit more, though it's a little bit crumpled. Oh my goodness, Lorianne, you've been very busy already of the new PDF pattern. You've already sewn half of it. Um, ah! Helen, nothing can make you move. Great, you're here for the long run. Lovely. Well, I didn't get a chance last week. I was all flustered, so I didn't get a chance to do any chatting. So I'm going to do a bit. Let's do some chatting before we get started. See who's here. As you're filtering in and joining, guys, say hi. Um, who is here? Oh, you're walking home and it's very hot in Cumbria. Really? Oh, it's quite muggy here in... Um, London today. It's been muggy for a few days though actually. Um, so yeah, I'm just looking at this. This is, guys, I'm wearing the Jodie dress version and this is going to bug me. So basically I realised last night that the shirt that I had worn last week was in the wash and the dress was also still in the wash. So I washed the dress last night before I went to bed but I hung it up and it wasn't dry. And so this morning I was ironing it and I can you can see that I've ironed it wet because it's basically not really ironed very well. <laughs> anyway, I'm in the Jodie dress. It's all a bit crumpled because it is a bit, it is linen. It's linen viscose, this fabric, so it's going to do that. But anyway, it's such a lovely dress to wear. I love this colour. I think, oh, there is a bit of the fabric left. To make sure, I'll have to check that this is online still. But if you're interested, this fabric still got some left. Um, and we've also got some left of this, this was actually in the sale, but there is still a little bit left, I believe, um, of the neon flowers fabric that I'm using. So Rosie is here, guys. I just um, saw her name pop up. She's there to answer your questions, if you have any questions. If anyone is new here to the live sew along, welcome. Do say hey. Oh, we've got someone joining from New York. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you, Alice. Um, and, um, I've now got thrown from a train of thought. This is what happens if I get if I start reading too much, I get really excited by all the names of people from all over. Adelaide, someone joining from Adelaide. And I just saw Sal say, I know you're in Australia, so we've got another two Australians online. Um, anyway, back to Jodie. I'm going to try not to get distracted as I finish my intro. Um, so Rosie will be there to answer questions. If you have any questions, it's best to ask them. Just pop them up in the chat. Rosie will answer them. Um, I generally will not see a lot of the things. Um, I try to, but as you've just seen, I get distracted. Um, so I'm going to try and focus on just not making any mistakes with my sewing. Um, so we're making the Jodie. We've already made the first one. Oh, wonderful. Rosie has, um, um, put up a link to the fabric. Thank you, Rosie. We've already made um, the first one. We haven't made the first one. We've already done part one. If you haven't seen it, you're watching this after it's live. There is part one where we do this and um, you can watch that. And today we're going to tackle the yoke. Um, so that is what we're going to do. Um, and um, I'm sure soon there'll also be a link. I just thought we should probably link, should we, Rosie? If maybe I've missed it. But to the actual Jodie shirt, which is a new pattern that came out in June. Those of you who are in our VIP pattern club will already have got the new pattern for July. Um, 
getting my months right there. Um, so um, that's just come out and um, it's been incredibly well received. And those of you who aren't in the VIP club, if you want to join, you still have time and you will find out about the pattern before everyone else does next Wednesday. Um, we'll pop a little link to the VIP club as well. I'm loading up all the links that I'm getting you to put in there, Rosie. Sorry. Um, so yes, we're going to do the burrito to method of the yolk today. I'm going to show you how to walk, walk you through all of that. Uh, I should say, I'm trying to always say this at the start of all sew alongs, that if we get cut out, then Rosie will shepherd you over to um, me starting another video. Occasionally it cuts out. We don't know why it does it, but it does. If it does cut out, just keep refreshing. Um, and um, usually the comments are still there, but I've just disappeared or frozen. And I'll just start another video on the channel. It's annoying when it happens, but hopefully it won't today. Um, right, okay. So I'm going to put... It's Link Bonanza. <laughs> it is Rosie. All the links up, just the links just gone up there for the VIP club, guys. Um, I always should think it's worth pointing out with the VIP club. It's still worth joining up, even if you've only got one month in the year left, because you get a free pattern. Not the new pattern that's just come out, but you get a free pattern from the pattern catalogue um, when you sign up. And given that most PDF patterns start at £11 and the VIP club is £10, it's already a deal. Deal in this deal. And then you get 10% off all other future patterns and you get to find out about them a week before everyone else and you get to be in your own little VIP club Facebook group and you get um, two VIP sales just for you guys and any of the bigger sales that we have you guys find out about in the day before so you can get all ready so you know they're coming and you can make sure you're there online before anyone else is. You don't get early access I should say to sales but you do get to find out about them before. Right, okay, this is not about. <laughs> I went off on a tangent, didn't I? Right, so I've got, um, we're going to do our yoke pieces, guys. So let's get our yoke pieces. So here they are. One, two. And I've also got my back piece. Okay, that is what we need. So we are going to start off and we are going to take one yoke piece and we are going to place it right size up. Put it there. It's very hard, even if you could see my table. Um, it would be quite hard because you can't really see this fabric. Then we are going to take the back and I'm going to put that right side up on the table, but that would be wrong side going down onto that yoke. Okay, so I'm going to lay that like that. Then I'm going to take the next yoke and I'm going to take that and place that right side down on top of my back. So now my back and this top yoke piece are right sides together. And then the bottom yoke piece is right side up and the, will be wrong sides together with the uh, the wrong side of the sh shirt will be with it. That was well explained. So let me hold it up. It's basically the yolks are sandwiching. Okay, so the yolks are both facing right sides in and the shirt is only lined up right sides with the outer yoke. Okay, so I'm now in holding that up. And now nothing is held together. We're going to have to now pin that together again. I put some lipstick on before I started this, but it's proper normal lipstick. As in, I sometimes put lip stains on, which is safer for photo shoots and things because it just stains your lips and then it doesn't come off. But this is normal lipstick and I'm so worried that I'm going to do that and put lipstick on. No. Okay, so we've got notches to line up here. So we've got a notch there, guys, like that. And then we have got another notch here. The tongue must come out because I'm trying to line up three layers of fabric and pop the pin in there. Then I'm gonna pin in the middle Then I'm going to pin the edges. So lots of pinning just to hold those two layers, three layers together. Three layers. Okay. Right. There we go. Now I had the edge stitch foot on my machine before, so I need to reset the needle position back to the middle. I was doing my homework. You may have seen it on Instagram. I put a little photo up saying I'm doing my homework. 
basically I had to make sure I'd stitched the other patch pocket on because we only did one together, didn't we? So I had to do the other one so that they're ready for sewing together for this yoke. Okay, so the seam allowance is 1.5 centimetres, 5 eighths of an inch. This is pretty much the seam allowance for all our patterns. And then it's just necklines and other elements that we might say differently that would be usually a centimetre or something. But um, generally all our patterns are 1.5 centimetres. And we still do get asked if our um, patterns have seam allowances added on because I think back in the day there were some independent pattern companies that didn't add seam allowances. I realised that because I made some trousers from one of them. This was years ago. Didn't realise it until I cut it out. So I had to read the instructions. I was very annoyed. <laughs> I had to like sew them with like five mil seam allowance. Just about fit. So we're just taking the pins out as we come to them. And reversing. So reversing at the start. Oh, got a bit of keen bean, eager beaver there. Opening up the presser foot before it finished with the needle. Uh, okay. So. I'm just now looking to see if I can kind of pivot you guys so you can see me ironing a little bit. Let's move him back. No, move him there. Move this there. You've got a little bit of vision there, haven't you guys? We've lost my head, but that's not important. We can now do our ironing. So what we're going to do is we're going to iron everything up. Okay? Up, 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 up. So the seam allowance is going up. going on here. I have not turned my iron up so I just need to get that hotter. Oh dear there's some weather chat going on. It looks like some of you are struggling in very hot weather. We are nice and warm in the UK but we're not hot, too hot. And I don't envy anyone who is. My skin does not like it when it's too hot. Okay, there we go. So, let's have a look, see, oh, let's turn you back. Don't look in the messy corner, guys. Don't we need to see that? We're actually getting a bit of a sneak preview, guys, of some fabrics. <laughs> Not yet out. I think these are going up next week. Um, right, so if you can see, it's right sides this is the outer, so this is the right side of the shirt now, and this is the inside. Okay, so this, where the inside of the fabric is, so the wrong side of the fabric, that's the inner yoke. And then when it's all right sides facing out, that's the outer yoke. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it so that we have got the right sides, both of them facing out. So the right side of the yoke is facing me. And I'm just going to drop it like that so that the the um, inner yoke just drops down. And we're gonna now line up, ooh, someone didn't cut off their threads. We're gonna line up the uh, shoulder seams. Okay, so right sides to right sides. Okay, so I'm lining up there. I'm loving this weather chat guys we are getting bbc world weather you don't need to watch that just come on and watch our sew along because we are getting reports of temperatures all around the world we've got all of you commenting on what temperature is where you are that is wonderful i love that i love that i love how international our sew alongs are okay so we're doing right side to right side at the shoulder seams And we are going to stitch those bits there. Mm. 
going to stitch the, sh the shoulder seams now. So we're going to use the same seam allowance that we've used, centimetre and a half, five eighths of an inch, and we're going to stitch our shoulder seams together. Mm -hmm. um, now, I, w I can't remember if I mentioned last week, maybe Rosie, you can mention what the Stitch School video for um, Jodie was. Because it's now, literally, I thought, oh, we should talk about that because every time we have a new pattern out, we do mention what we do have a Stitch School video associated with that new pattern. Um, and I forgot to say what it was. And I've now also now say what it, I now forgotten what it is as well. <laughs> I think it was Becca and yourself that did it. it was um, that one? But maybe we can point people to to that to on our Stitch School. Ah, oh, thanks Fiona for voting for us. We I'm hopeless at asking people to vote for us, but I probably should do that, shouldn't I? We need to make sure on the next sew along that we do that. Vote for us in the sew awards. Maybe we can get a link to it. We did a tutorial with the collar. It was Layla. Ah, how to help with the collar and the facing. Oh, I'm so pleased because then with this video, guys, so we have done um, patch pockets. We'll have done the yoke and then on stitch school, you can go on there and you can see the um, how to do the collar and the facing. So that's really good. Rosie, here's a challenge for a link. Can you find our Sew Awards link? I know we were nominated. Um, and we have yet to win a Sew Award. I think we won one one year for Best Retail Shop. But we have yet to win, and I think one of the reasons why we have yet to win is because I always forget to tell people, or rather ask people to vote for us. I need to be better at that this year. Okay, so. We have done that now. Oh, so along, wonderful. Rosie just got the, the um, link to the so along that I talked about up there. What size needle? I'm actually using quite a fine needle, Anne. I'm using about a size nine or a 10, I think. I think I was gonna use an 11, but I didn't have it. But actually I'm finding that the nine, 10 is absolutely fine. It's normally I'd only use for silk, more silk chiffon, but this is very lightweight, so. The only thing I was worried about is when I was doing the patch pockets that it might be a bit um, difficult, but that worked fine. Okay, I'm just referring to the instructions, guys, so that I get this out the right way for you okay so lay the shirt out position both yoke pieces of the right sides up okay I'm just gonna put that there so you can't see it but i'm basically shaking it down like that and i'm just laying it so that the yoke pieces are both right sides up um um ba 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 Oops, and then what we're going to do, because we need to, we're going to need to roll it. Now, which one are we going to roll? We we'll have to roll the front, aren't we? I really wish you could see what I'm doing more clearly, guys. Let me see if I can. That's a bit better, isn't it? Okay. So what we need to do, because we need to basically get our, um, we need to stitch the shoulder seams together. So basically the shoulder seams of the yokes at the moment, I'm just trying to get it all so that you can see what I mean. Uh, we haven't stitched the inner yoke. So what we need to do is be able to stitch it like that. So we need to get all of the um, shirt, the back and the front out of the way so that we can do that. So we've got to roll it up and this is why it's called the burrito. So you're basically rolling it up out of the way So I've got a front piece there, I'm rolling that out of the way. Oops, just make sure my flap is down there. And then the same here. Okay. So it looks like this. You can see why it's called burrito method now. And we're gonna Pin that. So 
so it's out the way. And when you're doing this, you need to make sure that you're getting all this bit out the way. You don't want to accidentally catch part of that. And you should be lining up the right side of this inner yoke. That should be face down at the shoulder seams, okay? At the moment, I'm just seeing the inside. Oh, Rosie, thank you. She's found the link. <laughs> we'll try and put the link, guys, in the um, description after this has gone, finished being live, so that those of you watching it afterwards could also vote for us. Okay. We have our little shirt burrito there. And so now we're going to stitch it again. So you're essentially going over the same stitch line that you've just sewn for the shoulder seams. It doesn't matter, we're just sewing it again. It doesn't matter that we're sewing it again. So you need to make sure that we're super accurate with our seam allowances so that then they'll just stitch on top of each other. Take our pins out as we get to them. Make sure you reverse at the beginning. Okay. And beginning, push this out of the way, make sure you're not catching anything, you shouldn't be, oopsies, and then pull that out. Oops, I've forgotten the threads there. So now, always a bit nerve wracking this bit, but now we need to just turn it through and always get a little bit scared that it's not gonna work. It's one of those moments, that especially doing this live. Normally people be doing this at home, so if it's not worked, it's okay. Okay, and there we go. All turned through. Okay, so let's finally hold this up so you can see. So right side there, that's now turned through, um, and that's the back there. I'm going to give that a nice press. How's Coco? I oh know, because I haven't done one of these at um, home for a while. She's fine. I've got Poppy here. I'll show you Poppy in a second. Um, obviously, I don't bring Coco into the office, but she's fine. She's uh, basically lying out most of the time on the floor on a cold floor. She's just turned into the sleepiest cat. And my mum um, came to stay a few weeks ago and is convinced that she's, she needs to go on a diet. I was like, she's fine. She is a greedy cat and she's not particularly, she seems to be very, um, oh no, I've got a mark from the iron on there, very lazy. Um, it's always hard to tell with animals though, aren't they? Because they're so fluffy. So I've just pressed that, guys, so that that's all now um, nice and flat. It's drying off. Definitely. There we go. Okay. It's all bunched up there. Can we see the context of what we're creating here, guys? This will become the... Um, lapel there okay like that and then the collar comes on and obviously the facing backs this but that's how it all comes together then you've got your side seams you put your sleeves in um etc etc but what we can do is we can we mean to just stitch all of these layers together around the yolks around the neckline around here we need to stitch those together almost like a stay stitching so that when we're stitching the collar on we're not dealing with fabrics flapping around and moving out of the way so we just 
we can then treat it as one layer of fabric. So let's do that. Oh, that's great. Your order got through. We have been working very hard here at um, Sew Over It to get all the sale orders out. All, most of the orders, I think, now from, from the weekend have all gone out and it's just uh, we're working on Mondays. Um, but thank you for your patience, those of you who've ordered things in the sale. We are flying through them. I said I was going to get Poppy, didn't I? I'm going to get Poppy. Here is Poppy. You hardly ever make an appearance anymore, do you, Poppy? Bless her, she's feeling very sleepy. She's just trying to sleep on my um, arm. Poppy's getting to be an old girl now. She's almost 10, so she sleeps a lot. Anyway, down you go, Pops. Annoyingly bark barking every time someone rings our bell about a delivery. <laughs> Ah, still very much so at the sew over it, um, mascot old puppy. Right. So I'm gonna stitch this um, straight stitch. I'm um, sorry, this stay stitch within the seam allowance. I'm just gonna put it at around a, cent a centimeter. It doesn't really matter. Just need to make sure that it's definitely. Oh, presser foot's doing that thing. We've got a thing with this presser foot where it keeps getting stuck. It gets stuck and then it just. It was doing it the other day, it gets stuck and then it's basically just can't, I can't unlock it. Okay. on one of the little flowers that's it just needed to give it a little tug through right guys there we go that has ha that went very quickly um uh, almost too quickly um so i'm sorry that that's been so quickly but we've got a bit of a chance to to chat um um like i said on stitch school if you're a member of stitch school you'll be able to watch the video on how to do the uh, collar and also how to do the um, facing and uh, you can actually now buy those as just individual classes little tutorials if you want to um, if you don't want to subscribe but let's see if you subscribe you get those more um, okay so that's where I wanted to get to today um, I just did it rather quickly so we will leave the sewing there um, let's have a little bit more of a chat oh, gosh. I wanted to talk to you about um, something we're going to start doing once a month Rosie and I are going to start doing a tea and a chat on in not Instagram on YouTube um, once um, at the end of the month we are going to do a video of us just talking about what's happened that month because I know lots of goes on at so over it and sometimes it's hard to keep up um, and um, oh thanks Sal thank you Lorianne thank you Jen um, and um, Yes, so we know it's quite hard to kind of like recap what's happened. So we're going to do that um, once a month now about what's happened and also start talking about what's coming up so that you'll be able to watch something that you'll be able to see what's happened at so over at that month. And if you missed anything, you'll be able to hear about stuff that's coming up. Obviously, we're not going to give you, show you the exact patterns that are coming up and stuff, but we'll just talk about what's coming up in other things that month. We'll also maybe um, get a chance to share any makes that we've seen pop up on social media that we really like or anything else that's kind of really come up. It's going to be a bit like a little um, catch on, on so up on so over it. So it might be to do stuff happening in the community. It might be talking about stuff that's, you know, our makers have done or pattern insiders or anything really. We're not really kind of, we know some things we're definitely going to include and then there'll be just different things that will happen each um, month that will be different 
So we're going to start doing that once a month on YouTube. It won't be live. It will be pre-recorded, but it will go up on the last week. And then we will be doing our sew-alongs as normal for the new pattern. So the next sew-along will be the also the last week of July. I think it's the 28th of July the next sew-along starts. So we're getting through it a bit quicker than we did this one. Um, so the 28th of July and the 5th of August for the next pattern so long and that will of course be live and then another thing that I wanted to talk um, about was on Stitch School I've been sort of hinting over the past few months that I wanted to do this but you know we're sorry about that um, and um, we want to um, do some live events on Stitch School so we are going to be doing um, we thought we'd start off with a live Q&A now it's not going to be this month I think Rosie and I, we haven't actually set a date for it. Maybe it will be August. Um, hopefully it'll be around August time. Um, um, and yeah, we're gonna do a live Q&A. And what the point was, was, we might have a few questions from you guys before, and then you'll also get a chance to ask um, the odd question as well. Um, so it could be questions, if it's kind of fit questions, then that's a bit more complicated. If they're easy fit questions, we might answer them, but there'll be questions about the business or about certain patterns or fabrics or that kind of thing that we're gonna be able to answer in an easy way without kind of having to really think about it. Um, but it will be, yeah, an opportunity for a bit more of a chat because I often feel like our sew-alongs, there is, would be great to chat more, but we can't really. Um, so we're gonna start doing that on Stitch School once a month. Um, so you can have an opportunity, those of you on Stitch School, to kind of catch up with us and ask us questions about your projects and stuff. So we're also bringing back Fitting Friday. That will also sit on Stitch School as well. So Fitting Friday, either with lovely Julie or one of our other fitting experts in the, in the company, will be answering your fitting queries as well. So that's coming back. Um, and yeah, um, anything else, Rosie, that I have not mentioned? Um, but yeah, can't think of anything else. Um, anyone have any questions now? Oh, thank you for voting. Labrador puppy, ooh, very cute, very, very cute. Um, I've got about five, 10 minutes, guys, before we need to end it. So if there's any questions or anyone wants to chat about anything now, we can have a little chat. Oh, 19 weeks. Oh, looking fat already. Oh dear. Very hard to not keep feeding puppies. Oh, I've got everything. Okay, brilliant. That's great, Rosie. Thank you. That's all the announcements that I had to make. I've remembered everything. That's good. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Um, okay, guys, it doesn't look like there's any questions coming up. So I think I'm going to love you all and leave you um and um oh there is a question how's jasmine doing oh bless you she's good thanks she starts school in september can you believe it um yeah it's it's amazing she her uniform's green um and uh yeah she, that's all she says when people say you're starting school oh buttonholes buttonholes i couldn't quite see that i think there was a question um of the um um buttonholes how far they should be in on this um i think i put my buttonholes two centimeters in sometimes it's two centimeters sometimes it's a centimeter and a half but it looks like on this it's two centimeters is where the buttonholes go i know Lorianne, you were saying yeah we've got some vintage cherries cherry cottons and yes definitely there seems to be a revival of ditsies as well um there was going to be um I felt like it was hard to get some nice fat, ditzy fabrics before, but now there is some. I also really like this. It's really subtle. Anyway, on that one I also like. There's gonna be loads of new fabrics actually up on the site um, today and tomorrow because um, of the sale. We've got rid of lots of them. Any plans for making more men's patterns? I'd love a full sew over outfit. We do have two patterns in the mix that are unisex that will be coming out on Stitch School. One is coming out, I believe in August. And I don't know when the other one's coming out, but they kind of could be worn together. Um, so, and that would give you Sal the full outfit. <laughs> um, so yeah, we are planning on doing that um, soon, but yeah. 70s party dress material. Yeah, it is quite Laura Ashley, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Nice. 
Just made a jacket from your gorgeous Ponty. Oh, did you? Lovely. What colour Ponty was it? Was it a plain? Was it a print? <laughs> I'd be buying lottery tickets. <laughs> Navy. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Um, I love a navy jacket. Very versatile, isn't it? I haven't really met, I was thinking actually, I was thinking the other day, I, was like, I haven't made any kind of, I guess we had the Dorothy jacket, but I haven't made anything since then, jacket wise. I feel like I've got a lot of jackets and it's not the sort of thing that you need quite as many of them. Um, two more unisex patterns by the end of the year. There we go. Helen, the new ebook, I should say that guys. The new ebook is not going to come out until early next year. I'm really sorry, but we have been quite busy here at Sew Over It with the new rebrand and everything, which ran over, then issues with the site, and then generally just kind of like lots of issues of running a small business in new Brexit and you know, lots of different challenges that we've been under at the moment. So we have decided that we are going to, um, we are going to bring out some ebooks, but they're beginner ebooks. They're going to be out in September, but the big ebook that I've been teasing you guys about that I thought would be out in September is now not going to be out till probably March. I'm sorry guys, but occasionally these things happen and things don't go quite to plan and I didn't want to rush it. It was getting to the point where I was rushing it and the ebook is so important to me that, um, or these ebooks, that they have to have the headspace in my, you know, and all of the team have got to be able to really give it and we didn't want to rush it, so sorry. But don't worry, there'll be lots more patterns coming out, Helen. We'll keep you busy until then. We also, because in the new ebook there are um, two or three dresses, it just felt like the wrong time of year to bring it out. So um, I think March would be a better time. So yeah, that is what's happening on that. It will be worth the wait, won't it, Rosie? Exactly. There's so much work involved in those ebooks, um, and it's another capsule wardrobe one, so another five patterns. So there's loads of work in them, and there's always variations and things. So. And we want to do a beautiful shoot. And now as well, because we're photographing, this will be the first ebook that we photograph, not just on me, we'll be photographing it on other models as well. So that we can, um, because obviously we'll have it in the full extended size range, so that people, other shapes and sizes to me, can visualize themselves in the patterns. So that will be a big thing for um, this ebook to have the first one with lots of other models in it. Right guys, we've had a little chat. It's been nice to sit and chat. Um, so yeah, I'll see you, pre-recorded see you um, with my chat with Rosie, Tina chat with Rosie. Um, and also I'll see you at the end of July for the so long for the next pattern. I keep wanting to say what it is. Mustn't say, mustn't say. Right guys, see you all very soon. Thank you for joining uh, me today. Hope you all have lovely days um, and a nice weekend. And um, yeah, thanks for joining. Bye.